Hey server fans, Tony here from Run Sabers, and today I got another comparison video for you. If you're new to the channel, I do install, um, review, and update these sabers on the channel, so please like, comment, and subscribe. Help the channel out, I greatly appreciate it. Today we've got a review, and it's a very important review. Uh, for those Ahsoka fans out there, this is a Corbanth a Fulcrum and a Solo's Hold uh, Snips slash uh, Secret Apprentice, or, or not Secret Apprentice, um, Rogue Apprentice. And so um, we'll go into depth about the accuracies, what's better install wise, and kind of break it down for you. So, first off, I'd like to mention that the uh, finish is very, very different. It's the most abundant thing that you'll see. Um, I like to kind of think that one is Clone Wars inspired and one is um, kind of more Episode 3 esque because Obi Wan's and Anakin's during Episode 3 are chrome plated and so they're very, you know, fingerprinty and all that jazz and they also have gold clam cards and stuff. So, what you'll see here is between the, the Solo's Hold and the Fulcrum is the finish is again a kind of a, a, a light finish here and a almost chrome plated um, mirror finish on the fulcrum and so um, yeah it's it's very very nice um, again a fingerprint magnet but very good nonetheless um, originally I kind of favored the um, the fulcrum a bit because of the chrome plating but I do think I ultimately lean towards um, solos holds snips and stuff better um, so, uh, Solos Hold did a 2021 run for these sabers, so I believe they are still available if you are interested. The Fulcrum, on the other hand, is not available at the moment um, because they are um, sold out. And so, yeah. So, next up is the um, spacing between the two bunny ears and the buttons and stuff, and kind of the thickness of each one. So, what you'll see here is that the button here doesn't stick out as much as this one does, and then the bunny ears are about the same size when it comes to spacing. Um, from the top. Overall, they're actually the same height, I believe, almost exactly. But yeah, the bunny ears on the Solos hold is a bit lower than the, um, let me see that real quick, a uh, bit lower than the Fulcrum. Now, on the Fulcrum, this is your retention screw. This is a knob you can unscrew, that will hold the blade in or not. Um, on Solos hold, you have a retention screw, I don't have it in right now, but you can see the hole right there for that. Put my finger on the back so you can see it. That's the retention screw for um, the I guess Secret Apprentice or Rogue Apprentice, sorry. And then um, the other thing that's kind of interesting to see, and I'll put a screen like capture on there too, that the little pins here, one is gold and the CW or TCW pins that are silver. So on the pins here, you can see one is more gold, again, kind of episode three, and one is, again, accurate to the TCW. And so it's very, very nice, very nice indeed. Um, these are a bit style different. Um, these are more designed to be like the Graflex pins, and these are just straight pins. Um, you can kind of see that with the angles and such and so next up is switching upside down on the other side now on the fulcrum this actually acts as your one and only switch and so you have one button mod um, when installing it versus um, the secret apprentice not Ro secret apprentice rogue apprentice here has two buttons on each side um, that you'll see that are both aux and auxiliary and so very nice indeed um, it is a bit tricky to install it um, i've been there done that but overall i definitely prefer two buttons compared to one button the next thing is, again, the same type of silver and gold-esque that you'll see on this one. It's a gold, again, episode three, and the silver on here. Um, I'll go back real quick. I was going to talk about it, the button system. Kind of got carried away. But this is actual copper that you'll see on this, and it's screwed in. Versus, again, this is anodized, and it's um, kind of a goldish color, not copper. And so, yeah, not the copper brownish color that you'd see on, like, a Luke. I wanted to compare the Voss to the uh, Rogue Apprentice here because the finish is kind of the same. It's a very TCW Clone Wars um, type of comic book accurate finish to it. It's a very um, fine finish. And so um, the review for the Seven Chambers unboxing is up, so definitely go check it out if you haven't already. It's a very good saver. Um, but yeah. And then, so going up to the smaller ones, I wanted to kind of point out. Also, one thing worth mentioning is the um, kind of angles or the roundness of the emitter is different. This one has a finer point. This one is a bit more round. And same can be said with um, the pommel, the pommel uh, balls or, or just cubes, I should say. Um, this one's more flat, and this one is more round. And so the same thing here. This has the one button, and this one has the two, which this one's not installed currently. And so you have the two buttons there and the retention screw there. Um, now, this one actually has the same type of retention screw as the Solos Hold, and so, very nice. You can kind of see the inspiration, because I believe Solos Hold came out with theirs first. Um, they have the vent vents right after, um, right inside there, because the vents don't come out of the pommel holes. There's no vents on the bottom, and so the vents are coming up through here, 
and it's similarly um, with the solo soul. And so you can't, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a chanfer that runs around the entire thing. It has holes um, where you can't see it, and it gives you a lot of very good sound um, venting for both both sabers. Now, moving down to the covertex, the covertex and this, um, the, I don't know what exactly to call them, but this um, circle here is very similar in size. Um, this does have a chanfer um, here that kind of sticks out um, a bit more than the other one does. Now, um, this Covertech also isn't like, I guess, a, a true Covertech. So the Covertechs are a bit different. Um, one is, I would say, a true Covertech, which would be the Solos hole here, versus this one, it, it's a kind of false Covertech. It's, it's flat. Um, you can also kind of tell that the extrusions between the two are a bit different as well. This one has like a chanfer that leads into the black piece there, and this one looks like it's screwed on, and the, this one is like an, an, an extension of the hilt itself. Same can be said with the Covertech side. Um, this black piece is um, not quite, you know, true Cobra Tech in, in the sense that it attaches directly to the hilt. Um, and then the pommel section, the sizing is, is definitely a bit different. I'm not how see how well you can see it, but this is a bit longer. This section here, I would say like the, not grenade section, but um, like the booster section of this hilt. Um, this is way longer than, say, um, this little um, booster section here. And so, um, also, also worth mentioning, the um, black pieces you see on this section here, um, as well as on Solo Sold, they're anodized, but one has a smoother coat to it. One is, um, this one is textured, and it's, it's like a almost leathery, coarse vinyl type design, type of feel to it, versus this is a very smooth and glossy um, look to it, and you can definitely see that in, in the uh, light reflection here. But... Yeah, and again, no, no vented pommels or whatever, um, whatsoever. This is fully, um, all the vents and sound come from in here and in here. Now, Corbanth has designed them to have a fully removable chassis. Um, Goth 3D Designs, I don't think, has made one that has a fully removable chassis. I know it's probably available, but um, right now this one has a fixed chassis and stuff. Um, I'll take, you, take it apart real quick to show you the, um, just kind of the one thing that, that is different with the pommels is that this piece is connected to it. It's not connected to pommel or anything, this is just part of the hilt. Um, versus the snips, if you take apart this, this black piece moves. It's a separate piece that um, is threaded in, and so um, it it's, can be removed and, and whatnot, but it's a completely separate piece that was anodized, and so, yeah. Um, there's not much of a weight difference between the two. They're very um, similar in weight, which I was kind of surprised at. Um, but yeah, they're both very similar when it comes to weight and uh, overall install. So going back to this real quick. Um, so first off, real copper, anodized gold. And now the you can kind of see the um, placement or or yeah placement of the buttons on both. So this is more centered on the it's almost the exact middle of the hilt, um, versus this is more toward, uh, tilted towards the uh, emitter side. And the holes on the thing seem to be kind of the same, the, the one with the little pins, those kind of be, are almost exactly the same. Now again with the Covertex, um, one is again a true Covertex, which is what Solos Hold has, and this one I'm not a huge fan of how they designed this. Now this extrudes way beyond, and it doesn't look like a Covertex at all, it kind of looks um, like almost very strenuous to, to deal with because it sticks out a lot more than say a normal Covertex would. Um, and then this silver piece here is not as wide. Um, I'll show you that too. Um, it's not as wide or as thick as the other one, which this actually matches um, the big one diameter. These two match, which makes sense because they're supposed to be almost identical hilt. They go together, Shoto and, and Sheen. But um, yeah, the uh, uh, Corbanth Fulcrum does not. It, it's a smaller size. It's supposed to match the Covertech size, I believe, which is very interesting to me that they chose that choice. But um, the pommels are very similar um, when it comes to taking them apart. They're, they're both separate. But um, one thing to realize is that this finish is a bit different when it comes to the, um, the, the pommel versus the hilt itself. You'll see that little detailed ring, which is one of the biggest um, things to tell what's uh, Solo's hold and what's um, Corbanth's, is that this one doesn't have any of that um, finer detail at all on the hilt. This one has that ring that goes from the Covertech and around the, the spacer here and which is a very nice touch, but that finish, that, that divot that you see, the chanfer, actually matches the finish of the pommel, 
which is a very, very nice touch. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's true with this. I believe it is. Um, yeah, it matches the, the finish on this pommel as well. It's very hard to pick up, probably on camera, but the finishes on the pommels are a bit different. Versus Corbanth, I say they, they match the finish almost exactly for the pommel and the hilt. Um, so Now, um, again, thickness. The, the ball on here is more oblong and more ovalish, versus this one is almost uh, a full circle. The pommel cubes on the Corbanth um, fulcrum stick out a bit more than the ones on the Solos hold. Um, so yeah, the finish makes it more, I guess, what you can say is that this is more smooth, so you don't, you know, there's a less chance that you're going to, you know, cut yourself on it, versus this, it's it's less sticking out, but you can definitely probably catch your hands if you're not careful on any of these pommel cubes. So, um, what's very nice about these tilts too is that all of them stand up, which is quite, quite nice. I like that a lot. I'm going to go into about what is more accurate, what I think is more accurate, um, what my opinion is when it comes to what you're looking for as a customer, either Solos Hold or Fulcrum from Corbanth, and why that is. And so, okay, so when it comes to accuracy, I definitely think Solos Hold steals the butter because it's just wonderful. It's So what happens here is, is the silver, you'll see the screen grabs, but the silver on the control box and the pins here are silver. And so um, the screen grab in the TCW, you'll see that these are silver as well. And even the finish itself, they're not supposed to be metallic or like a chrome finish. It's not supposed to be mirror finish. If you're looking for an animated one, and that's the only one we've actually seen, I guess, in canon of the real life one, I would definitely recommend Solo's Hold. Now, I do like this one, mainly because the gold has accents, basically. It accents the whole thing. And in my opinion, this is more accurate to what the live action Ahsoka Sabres would be. Um, because I pull this skinny flex click. The gold buttons is what they had in episode 3, as well as the, the pins that are on here. And uh, the copper, I'd say, um, is a nice touch. This will age as well. But um, no, it has the copper or the gold button here, which is very similar to what Ahsoka has on here, as well as the Graflex pins, um, which you can see very easily on episode 3 hilts. And so if you're looking for something more accurate, like live action, what Ahsoka would wield during the actual movies, um, episode 3 or whatnot, this is definitely what I would recommend. Now, if you're looking for, you know, TCW and you're a TCW fan, that's the only way you know Ahsoka or whatnot, um, and just an overall accuracy, definitely go with Solo's Hold. And so, um, personally, again, I, again, really kind of lean towards that. I've installed them. It's been very fun for me to have, definitely look at 2020's version and um, 2021's version of these hilts. And so... All right, so I'm sure there's tons of things I missed. Um, let me know in the comments if I missed anything that, that caught your eye while I was reviewing them. Of course, they're both wonderful sabers, and again, it depends on the customer's preference. I hope this was very insightful for you when it comes to buying Ahsoka sabers. Have a wonderful day, and may the force be with you.